Welcome back to video series on influence line diagram in which we are learning how to draw influence line diagram for various functions of indeterminate structure. In this part you will learn how to draw influence line diagram for end support reaction. So here we will learn how to draw the influence line diagram for reaction at C using muller bresselieu principle. So for that First of all, we will consider this beam ABC with AB 4 meter and BC is equal to 6 meter. Now let us see how to get this influence line diagram shape using muller bresselieu principle. In previous video, we have already discussed muller bresselieu principle and we know that if you want to draw influence line diagram for any function, first of all, we have to remove the constraints related to that function and then we have to give the unit deformation in the direction of that function and whatever deflected shape we get that shape itself represent the influence line diagram for that function so initially we don't know what is the force required to make this ordinate equal to one and therefore initially instead of applying unit deformation we apply unit force so let us see how to solve this so this is the given beam for which we have to draw influence line diagram for RC. So what, what we have to do? We have to remove ability of support C to resist the deflection by remo removing support at D. So first of all, we will remove this support at C. So after removing support, the beam will look like this. That is, it is simply supported at A and B with overhang. BC. So C is now a free end. Now here actually to draw the influence line diagram we have to apply unit deformation. That means we have to make one ordinate here of influence line diagram. But initially we don't know what is the force required for unit deformation. Therefore we will apply unit force at C in the direction of RC. So if you apply unit force at C in the direction of RC, then this beam will deflect something like this. So there will be some ordinate Y like this. At A and B, since there are support, so deflection at A and B will be zero. And this beam will take shape like this. Now to have the influence line diagram, we have to make this Y equal to one. So when we make this ordinate y equal to 1, this diagram itself is the influence line diagram. So how we can make this one? So what we will do? First, we will calculate the deflection due to unit force. We will get some ordinate here. And we will calculate all the ordinates at 1 meter interval. After that, we will divide all the ordinates by y so that we can get the unit deformation at this location. So let us proceed. So as I told you that initially we will apply unit force and we will get this deflected shape using conjugate beam method. And after that, we will divide all the ordinates by Y so that we can get ordinate one here. Then this shape is called as influence line diagram for RC. Now we will draw the deflected shape due to unit force using conjugate beam method. So you know that in conjugate beam method, it is an imaginary beam which is loaded with M by EI diagram of original beam. And therefore we have to draw first bending moment diagram for this case. So if you consider this beam, bending moment at A is zero because it is simple support. Bending moment at C is also zero because it is free end. And we can calculate bending moment at B, which is nothing but one into six. So if you take section at any distance x, what is bending moment? It is one into x. Since x has power one, it is a linear uh, curve for bending moment. So at any section x, bending moment is one into x. And therefore there is linear variation of bending moment diagram. At A, bending moment is zero. At C, Bending moment is zero because it is free end and this is simple support. Bending moment at B is one into six. 
so here bending moment is 6 and since in conjugate beam method m by ei diagram is the load on conjugate beam therefore we have to divide all the ordinate by ei let us consider 1 upon ei is equal to k therefore the load ordinate at b will be 6k now we will draw the conjugate beam for this case as you know that to draw the conjugate beam we have to modify these supports so how we modify these supports that roller and hinge supports in conjugate beam remains as it is fixed becomes free and free becomes fixed then interior support in original beam becomes inter interior hinge and interior hinge becomes a support so this is how we modify the supports in conjugate beam therefore this simple support remains as it is this is now free end which becomes fixed and this is intermediate support which becomes intermediate hinge so let us see how the conjugate beam will look like so here the load on conjugate beam conjugate beam is an imaginary beam the load is m by ei diagram so we have calculated 6k as ordinate here at b at a ordinate is 0 and at c ordinate is 0 now this free end becomes fixed this intermediate support becomes intermediate hinge and now this simple support remains as it is and if you take section at any uh anywhere in between bc you can see that bending moment is 1 into x and since this is upward force bending moment is positive positive means sagging and since the bending moment is sagging or positive we have to draw the load in upward direction in conjugate beam so this is how to draw the conjugate beam for this case now next is we have to find out the deflection due to this one and we know that deflection in original beam is bending moment in conjugate beam and therefore we are interested in calculating bending moment at one meter interval so that we can get the deflected shape so for that first of all we will write the general equation of bending moment in portion a b and in portion c b so to write these equations first of all we have to calculate what are the reactions at the support so here how many reactions are there there will be one vertical reaction ra here one vertical reaction rc here and there will be a support moment also because of fixity which is mc at this location so you know that if the beam consists of internal hinge then we have additional condition available which is bending moment at that point is equal to zero bending moment means taking moment from any one side so first of all if you take bending moment at b is equal to 0 from left side you can calculate ra after that you can apply summation of vertical forces equal to 0 then you can get vertical reaction at c and after that consider this portion bc and again apply bending moment at b equal to 0 and take the moments from right side you will get what is the support moment at c so let us calculate first the support reactions so first we will calculate what is reaction at a so for that we will apply bending moment at b equal to 0 that means we are taking moment of all the forces from one side only that is from left side so if you take the moment of all the forces what we get ra into 4 because ab distance is 4 plus area of this triangle which is half base is 4 and height is 6k so this is area of triangle multiplied by distance and what is distance distance is one third that is cg of this triangle from b because we are calculating bending moment at b so if you apply this you will get ra as negative and therefore it is downward so we get value of ra is equal to 4k next step is to apply vertical summation of vertical forces equal to zero and calculate vertical reaction at c so if you apply the condition summation of vertical forces equal to zero to this complete beam abc 
what we get? We get RA plus RC plus the strangular load is equal to zero. And what is the strangular load? It is half. This is 10 meter and this height is 6K. So this is the total load on this beam. So if you apply summation of vertical forces equal to zero, you will get reaction at C is equal to 26K, which is also negative. Therefore, it is downward. So we have calculated reaction at A and reaction at C. Now we will calculate what is support moment at C by considering bending moment at B equal to zero and considering portion BC. So now if you apply the condition bending moment at B is equal to zero, and if you consider this portion CB, what are the forces which contribute to bending moment? It is this reaction, which is downward. So bending moment will be negative. We are considering this direction. So it will be positive because it is similar to the moment of vertically upward forces and then moment due to this triangle and equate it to zero. So if you apply this, what we get? This moment at C, which is positive, then moment due to RC, which is negative 26K into six and plus moment due to this triangle, that is half base into height multiplied by distance from B. So it is one third of six, which is two meter. So if you calculate, you will get positive value 120k. Positive means whatever direction we have assumed for MC is correct. So finally, we get all the reactions that is RA, RC and support moment at C. Once you get the reaction, next step is to write the general equation of bending moment. So first we will write the general equation for portion AB. So let us take section in portion AB at distance X. So first of all, we have to calculate this Y, relation between Y and X. So if you write, you will get Y upon X is equal to 6K upon four because this AB distance is four meter. So from this, you get Y is equal to three by two KX. Now we will write the general equation of bending moment in this portion. So what is bending moment at any distance X? It is reaction, reaction is downward. So minus 4K is the reaction into X plus area of this triangle. Area of triangle is half X into Y. So half X into Y into distance. Distance is from this section, which is one third. So X by three. So if you simplify this equation, you will get bending moment X is equal to minus 4KX plus kx cube upon 4. Similarly, we can write the general equation of bending moment for portion CB. So we take C as origin. That means we are measuring x from C. So what are the uh, forces which contribute to bending moment? It is this moment, this force reaction and this force. So again, we will write y upon x is equal to 6k upon 6 and therefore we get y is equal to kx. And if you write bending moment equation, it is 120, we are taking positive because its direction is similar to the moment due to vertically upward forces. So it is positive 120 minus 26k into x and plus moment due to this. And what is the moment due to this? Area of triangle multiplied by cg, distance of cg. So if you simplify this, you will get equation in portion CB as 120 minus 26 KX plus KX cube by six. So now we have derived the general equation of bending moment for portion AB and general equation of bending moment for portion CB. So next is substitute, take the sections at one meter interval. And if you substitute the value of X, you will get deflection due to this unit force. You will get some ordinate here, y. So next step is substitute value of x, one meter, two meter, three meter, four meter, etc., for portion AB and from one to six for portion CB and get this deflected shape due to unit force. So we will solve this in tabular form. So in the equation of portion AB, taking origin as A, 
we will write the equation uh, distances 1 meter 2 meter 3 meter and 4 meter and if you solve this equation you will get bending moment ordinate is equal to this and these ordinates are nothing but the deflected shape for portion ab we are getting negative value that means that shape is below the line similarly we can consider portion cb and remember that we have taken origin at c that means we are measuring distances from c and then if you substitute this in the equation of cb you will get all these ordinates and these ordinates are positive therefore they are above the line and now what is the ordinate at c at c it is 120 k so we have to make this ordinate equal to 1 and therefore we will divide all these ordinates by 120 k so that we can get unit ordinate here so unit deform when we make this as unit deformation that shape is called as influence line diagram so if you divide all the ordinates by 120 k what we get we get all these ordinates after dividing this column by 120 k so these are nothing but the ordinates of influence line diagram for rc now we will plot this influence line diagram once you calculate all the ordinates draw the ordinates at respective location and then complete this diagram so this part is negative and this part is positive what does it mean it mean that when the load is between a to b then reaction at c is downward when the load is in between b to c then reaction at c will be upward and suppose if you want to calculate what is reaction at c if there is some load of 10 kN at center of ab then 10 multiplied by this ordinate you will get this reaction which will be negative that means downward if you calculate what is the reaction at c if the load is in between bc then this load multiplied by respective ordinate you will get reaction at c so that is the use of influence line diagram so from this we can conclude that when the load is between a to b reaction at c is downward when the load is between b to c reaction at c is upward and to get the maximum value of upward reaction we don't have to put any load on portion ab otherwise we we could not get the maximum value to get the maximum upward value we have to put the load between b to c only and if you want to know what is the uplifting force at c then put the load on portion ab only so this is how we draw the influence line diagram for reaction at c i hope you will find this video useful so to stay connected subscribe to the channel and press bell icon to get notification of upcoming videos Thank you for watching this video.